All right, so this one is from Burrs. His name's Billy, no last name. Question, would it be smart to purchase an investment property if you're renting? Um, that's funny, man. If I could do it all over again, I actually would have bought multiple investment properties before I had bought my first house. And it's kind of the idea that if you buy a house, you're gonna have to save all this money to get it, and you're still gonna have to cover your rent and your lifestyle. But if you could basically either save more than you were for that first home, put it into an investment property that, let's say, uh, gave you an extra $1,000 a month of cash flow. And then you could either save for the next one or possibly uh, refi and pull your principal out of the first and roll it over to a second. And let's say that building cash flows an extra thousand bucks a month. Then you just keep throwing these things online until before you know it, you've got $10,000 of passive income coming in. And I just think it would be cool to take that and then either go buy a house with that or rent a home. And then the rest of your lifestyle is covered through owning these investments. Um, that's how I would have done it looking back. And even like, uh, like Grant Cardone is actually a perfect example. This guy's running a billion dollar fund. He doesn't own a home, he rents. So I think like renting doesn't mean you're not qualified. It's not like it was back then. So I think it's like do what's best to put yourself in the ultimate lifestyle that you want to live.